435 yards of total offense, 34 points. How efficient do you think the performance was of the offense tonight? Um, I thought it was really efficient. You know, just, just going to the game and um, just run the ball on their throats is really nice. Um, just be able to sort of dominate them up front. Um, obviously, there's certain aspects um, of the game where we're as efficient. We have to clean those things up, but I thought we did pretty well. Garrett Gilbert has now got six rushing touchdowns in the last three weeks. Is he starting to think like a running back? or I mean, today he also got more yards than Zach. Uh, what, I guess, what does it do for the offense to have a running threat out of the quarterback spot like that? Well, I think it's good because I think it catches the defense off guard. Obviously, they don't expect him to come and, and have a running play for him. So it catches them off guard because they're used to seeing Zach coming out. So I think it kind of throws them off. So the fact that he's, a, he's fast and he can run out field and break tackles is a, is a very uh, key part of our offense right now. So. Offensive linemen always talk about sort of imposing their will and dominating the guys in front. This is a team that came into Ford Stadium with a record of 0-9, and, and when you went up 10 nothing, could you start to see a little bit of the wind coming out of their sails? Um, you know, some of the guys, yeah, obviously they can, um, they, they kind of shut down. But I, I don't know, they, I mean, there's guys out there that played hard, and um, but um, yeah, I mean, you, as, as a team that, that has lost all their games, I, I can only imagine that it's probably pretty hard to come every day and bring it, because it's frustrating, but um, but I mean, I kind of know where they come from um, as far as being on my high school team, and we were you know, own 20. Uh, but, um, yeah, I think there's some guys there that play, that play pretty hard, though. Southern Miss is a team that plays a lot of the time in a 3-3-5 defense. When facing an offense like yours with a Zach line uh, and, a, and a running game like that, are you surprised that they stuck with a, with a lighter front like that? Um, well, a lot of times they, they I think they, they ran a lot of 4-2 or like a, uh, they, brought, they brought more guys in the box. Um, but, yeah. Uh, no, I mean those. They just do what they do. So I mean, they. they um, I think most teams think they can. They can um, perform well against teams using their own schemes. No matter what, they have the shot. You know, they feel like they have the athletes and stuff. So, no, it doesn't really surprise me at all. When you have a defense that runs out of a three-three-five or a four-two, but basically six guys in the box, mm -hmm. what's the theory behind that? Why? Why is the from a defensive standpoint? Why do they think that'll be effective against shutting down an offense? Um. You know, I think if you have if you have big, um, strong physical D tackles and defensive ends, um, you can accomplish it. As well as bring in both from the outside, I think it, they believe they can accomplish it. But um, I'm, I'm not really sure to be honest. All I know is I got to block what I got to block, and, and I don't dig too much into you know what they do. I just know what I got to do to get the play done. So, from your standpoint, from the protection for Garrett and also opening running lanes. What was your primary concern, or what worried you the most about Southern Miss's defense coming into tonight's game? Um, I think there was an emphasis, emphasis put on number eight. Um, I think coming in, we knew he was one of their better players, so there were certain things we did to try and um, stop him and make him where he wasn't effective and, and couldn't do anything in the game, which I think we did a good job. I mean, we'll have to watch the tape and see how we did, but that was, that was pretty much what we went into the game doing. You guys waded through a pretty tough non-conference schedule, and now you're sitting at five and five with two games to go. Mm -hmm. Uh, what's the, the attitude or the atmosphere like in the locker room and, and the general outlook with two games left? Well, the atmosphere is great. Um, we're confident we can we can win out, and, uh, and with some help, we get the conference championship. That's our goal. Um, our goal is just to win every game, so we got to win one at a time. So um, that was the goal against Southern Miss, was just take it one at a time. So we got this win, so now we got to focus on uh, on Rice. You can't look too far ahead in that aspect. So um, it's only one thing you can do at a time, and that is uh, getting ready for Rice this week. So. Do you allow yourself to think about bowl games or which bowl game or any of those things? Oh yeah, but the only thing you can control, like I said, is what you do and, and winning games. So, you know, the cards fall or they, or they might, but um, right now our goal is to win the rest of our games. So, A few weeks ago in New Orleans, a game got away from you against a team that a lot of people thought you should have beaten. Mm -hmm. Did that come up at halftime? What kind of things did you talk about at halftime to finish off what you started tonight? Um, you know about the halftime of, uh, of tonight's game? Tonight's game? Um, you know, it's just it's just we gotta stick with what we do in our, in our game and just being physical and not letting teams, you know, um, catch any breath when they're out there. We gotta deflate the wind, you know, out of their sails, get their sails deflated, and, and um, just kind of just uh, just control the what we can do and make sure that we um, just keep playing, um, you know, keep the pedal to the metal against them. So.